killer behind Tulsa's 63rd homicide of 2016. Fox 23 brought you breaking news of the double shooting at the Savannah Landing Apartments today at 5 and 6. Investigators say a fight led to those shots being fired, killing a man. Fox 23's Hector Mejia is live at TPD headquarters, where folks in that area say they are simply fed up with all the violence. Hector. Jonathan, and you might remember it's the same complex where Tulsa's quadruple murder took place back in 2013. Some neighbors, even children, watched spending hours outside as Tulsa police worked to solve another murder at their complex. There's a lot of uh, bad things going on all the time. Jordan Barton lives right across the street from here, the Savannah Landing Complex in South Tulsa, where police say a fight led to a deadly shooting in broad daylight. But there's a lot going on, and a lot of residents there are really concerned about their safety. Tulsa police say the shooter got away. The intended target also got away without being hit, but two of his friends did get shot. One died at the hospital. The other was found in a car a couple of blocks away with someone driving him to get help. Well, you're always surprised if someone gets shot, and it's a sad thing. Some neighbors watched in horror. A large crime scene covered a couple of blocks, even around this children's playground. Investigators say this area has improved over the last few years, but say crime is still a tough battle out here. I even had a hard time talking with more than one neighbor. Close to a dozen declined out of fear of retaliation. I'm not afraid, but uh, I am concerned quite a bit uh, walking around. Jonathan and Shea police told me the second victim was talking, so they expect him to survive. We'll have the latest on the search for the suspect and also if police release any names for those two victims on Fox 23 News this morning, starting at 4 a.m. Reporting live in downtown, covering news that matters. Hector Mejia, Fox 23 News.